On many of my videos, I'm talking about something on the screen and I need to highlight it. And for years, I looked for some product that would do that for me. There's a lot of them that claim to do it, but they either don't work very well or they're really expensive. And finally, I found one that's really inexpensive that does. I mean, it works really well. It's this thing called pointer focus. Uh, no, I don't get any money from them. They don't even know I exist. Uh, but I, again, it's something that is just really uncommon. So I thought I would share it with you because it really works well for me. So let's uh, look at it and see what it'll do for us. So the first thing you can see is this yellow circle. It's right here. It's this option. I can turn it off when I don't want it. I can turn it back on. I can make the circle bigger, smaller. I can make it more or less transparent and I can change the color of the circle. So that's uh, the feature I use the most. The next thing over here on the wheel is it will show the keystrokes. So if I'm over here and I push control C down here at the bottom, you see control C, uh, control A, I should have done that first, control A, control, then do a control C, and it shows you the keystrokes that I'm pushing, which is a very nice feature. And again, you can turn that on or off. Uh, then there's a spotlight. So if you want people to pay attention to just one part of your slide and uh, yeah, not look at the other parts of it, you can do this. Uh, again, this is configurable so you can keep people's attention on just one area. Okay, spotlight. You can highlight. This is another thing I use occasionally. You can say, okay, this is the battery here. Uh, this is the solar panel here. And then with an escape, they disappear you can do a magnify. So if you want people to see some small thing that they can't see very well, you can highlight like solar panels right here. Okay, and turn that off. Uh, so here are the settings. Here's the exit. And then of course it will minimize to the, to the bar. So let's uh, look at the settings and see what else is configurable. Let's look at the different options we have. The first one is the highlight cursor, which is this yellow circle I have, and you can change the size of that. You can make the circle uh, bigger or smaller. You can see there. So the, the thickness of the yellow part is it can be made bigger or smaller. There it's thicker again. I can change the opacity. I can make it uh, completely opaque or I can make it just barely visible. Set it back to where it was. Uh, show click animation. This is kind of interesting when you click, it does that red circle thing around it. So you can better see where it is. Uh, you can also do click action, which will say it'll show left button. Okay. Um, and then show highlight circle, which is just the, uh, yellow part, or you can just show the, the highlight action or sorry, the animation part. Uh, you can choose the different colors and then you can enable the hot key, which is F8 for this. Let's look at keystrokes. The options with keystrokes, uh, the time displayed in seconds. So that is this down here where it says control, how long you're going to show it when you, when you do it. So I have it set for one second, the font size, and then it says only show shortcut keys. So it starts with control shift, alt, win, or insert. You can show all, or you can show just a limited subset of the keys. Okay. Now let's look at spotlight and see what our options are. We can choose with spotlight how big the circle is. So uh, that's 200. We can choose the screen opacity. <laughs> I have to get rid of this. Choose the screen opacity here. So how dark the surrounding uh, screen is. Okay, set that back more like it was. Uh, we can enable the hotkey and we can enable mouse gestures. And what mouse gestures does is basically uh, when you push the control key and then you like circle an item, it allows, whoops, I didn't turn this on. It allows the item in the center there to be highlighted. Okay. That's yeah. I don't use that. You can tell, but, uh, it's an interesting feature. 
So let's go on and look at the pen. Pen is also something I use a lot. You have the choice of pen colors. Um, maybe I should show that. So you can select any of these colors. I usually leave it on red because it's a nice bright color that people can see. You can select the size of the pen. Uh, I'll get rid of the yellow. So there's 10. And there is 22. So you can see the difference in size. Um, it, there is a show hint text. So if you press escape, yeah. So this is basically reminding you that you can press escape to get rid of the text, uh, enable presentation pointer mode. So you click to begin, click to begin, and then you don't have to click again until you reach the end. Normally you hold the, uh, mouse button down when you're drawing, but in this mode, it allows you to click to start and then click to end. Enable hotkey, and then the same thing with the enable mouse gesture. Um, okay, erase that. Magnifier, magnifier size. You can choose the size of the circle that you're looking at. And I've got it set to 200 now. We can change it to that so a lot bigger um the magnification factor which yeah it makes it a lot bigger it kind of gets ridiculous fast so there we can see a three okay uh magnifier position follow the mouse if you uncheck this you have to drag the magnifier around like that and glass effect, um, I'm not real hot on the glass effect. It makes it look more like an actual magnifying glass. And then it uses the hot key of F12 unless you disable it. And then again, it's got the enable mouse gesture, the same feature where you can circle and then get a, uh, a highlight of that. The next thing is remote. And I'll be honest, I've never used remote, but theoretically, yeah, you can use this remotely. So. I will save that for another day because I'm going to have to experiment with it. And this is pointer focus version 2.4 and easy to use software, all rights reserved, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, tells you what I'm using it on. And yeah, that's about it. So I have uh, found this extremely useful when I'm doing presentations or when I'm making videos for my YouTube channel. Okay, well, that was it. I hope you found this useful and interesting in your teaching or presentations that you do.